Welcome back, Speedway fans. This is an XSRA.TV live stream rewind on YouTube. We're going to check out the highlights from our stream at Paris Speedway's annual New Year's Classic, promoted by Steve Evans Speedway Promotions. On January 15th, with temperatures in the 70s, the weather in Southern California was great and the track was just right for racing. Ten Division I pros were signed up for the race in the New Year's Classic that included three racers who've returned from Europe, having ridden with Speedway teams in England and Poland. Be sure to smash that subscription button and give us some likes so we can continue to bring you great extreme Speedway racing action right here on YouTube. Let's pick up the action of the Division I racers in round two. In the first round, the four fastest racers, Max Rummel, Dylan Rummel, Luke Becker, and Brock Nickel all won their heats and then started to race against each other. That's when all the excitement really started in race 13. The Rummel brothers, number one, Max Rummel, and number three, Dylan Rummel, were on the line with number 71, Mike Miller, and NorCal's 399, Rhett and Todd. Dylan Rummel has signed with the Oxford Cheetahs in England to race in 2022, and he's ready to travel soon. At the start, Dylan oh. Rummel hit the tape, causing a restart. Because he didn't break the tape, he was on the penalty line for the restart. Tapes up, it was Max Rummel for the lead. And Max Rummel, two-time Best Pairs National Champion, three-time under-21 Speedway Champion. Takes off in the lead again, 399 of Rhett and Todd, running in second, Dylan Rummel. Starting from the 20, caught up, running in third right now. Mad Max Rummel. Former winner of the Nick Varner Cup. Former rider of the Edinburgh Monarchs going to his final lap right now. Red Todd from Auburn, California, racing for Mike Todd and Sons Concrete. Bottom line lawyers and Billy Hamill Racing. Currently in great form there, coming out to number four. And he will take second. Dylan Rummel will take third with Mad Max Rummel getting the win. Race 14, Brock Nickel and Luke Becker both signed with teams overseas next year in this heat together with number 117, 16-year-old Wilbur Hancock and number 94, Fred Cook from NorCal. One, Becker in two, Hancock in three, Cook in four. Let's see how the teammates have done. They won Best Pairs Championship. They raced both last year with the Wolverhampton Wolves. Luke Becker will be going back to them this year, while Brock Nickel will be going to the Glasgow Tigers. Luke Becker is in the lead right now. Brock Nickel running in second as he takes the outside. Wilbur Hancock currently running in third. Fred Cook goes off the track. He is done in this race. Brock Nickel now swings or takes the lead. Something's wrong with Becker's bike. He's going real slow and uh, he'll. Nickel finishes with the win. Hancock in second and Luke Becker will glide into third. Tough break for Becker as he limped across the line with mechanical issues. These would plague him throughout the night. Race 20, Luke Becker, still working through mechanical issues, couldn't make the start. Making it a three rider go between Max Rummel, Reese Todd, and Freddie Cook. Rummel would finish in first with nine points on the night. Reese Todd, also from Auburn, California. Currently running in second, Fred Cook. Currently in the third spot. Mad Max Rummel is dominating here in Southern California in the 2021 season. Is looking to start it again for 2022. Checker flag with the win there. 
Todd finishing in second. And for Race 21, Brock Nickel and Dylan Rummel were up with Michael Wells as Mike Miller, who had crashed earlier in the night, calling it a night for himself. Nickel would get the lead and keep it to come in first with nine points overall. Dylan Rummel in six points and Michael Wells in third with three points overall as well. Race 26, Max Rummel and Brock Nickel both unbeaten going into this round with nine points each were finally meeting each other. Also on the line were Reese and Rhett and Todd, both trying to make the last chance qualifier. Start from Brock Nickel out of gate number four. Slides right in from fourth into first as he leads the pack with national plating Mad Max Rummel, two time American final champion. to represent the United States of America this year as the GP qualifier. 173 of Reese Todd is beating his brother, 399 of Bretton Todd, who's currently running in the fourth spot. Brock Nickel looks behind him. Brock Nickel, displaying the speed he's going to take back to Glasgow, took first place, giving Max Rummel second and ending his winning streak of the event. Reese Todd in second gave him just four points, and Rhett and Todd completed with six points. He would go to the last chance qualifier. In race 27, Luke Becker, Dylan Rummel, Wilbur Hancock, and Michael Wells on the starting line. Get your tickets out, get ready. We're going to call the winner when we water the track. Becker, with a great start, pulled off in the first turn with more mechanical problems. Tough break for Luke Becker, who had gremlins in his bike all night. With just four points, he would not make the main event. the track. So we got Scooter Wells currently running in second. Wilbur Hancock running in third right now with the pickle Dylan Rummel leading the pack. Dylan Rummel race last year. Dylan Rummel finishing first would give him nine points, and Hancock and Wells would finish with five points each. All three advanced to the last chance qualifier. Race 33, the last chance qualifier. Only the first and second place finishers would go to the main event. Michael Wells in lane one, Rhett and Todd in lane two, Wilbur Hancock in lane three, and Dylan Rummel in lane four. This we'll have a Division One Ponzi race, and then our kids 50 main events. So our 50 riders need just staging. Off to start, Dylan Rummel took the lead from the outside. Rhett and Todd, in his third year of racing speedway, stayed in second, and Michael Wells would take third. Hancock would go to the trailers. Rhett and Todd currently running in second. Hancock is off the track. So now it's down to three riders. 
And one will go home. Dylan Rummel in the lead right now. Rhett and Todd running in second. And Scooter Wells currently running in third. One lap left to go here. Looks like Easy Steel will go into the main. And there. Dylan Rummel with the win and Todd in second. Both would advance to the main event. The main event at the New Year's Classic was going to be a hot one. Dylan Rummel in lane one, Max Rummel in lane two, Rhett and Todd in lane three, and Brock Nickel in lane four. At the start, it was Nickel from the wall on the outside. With Nickel in the lead, it was a race for second between Dylan and Max Rummel, and Dylan was not going to let Max pass him. Dang. He is in the lead right now. Mad Max Rummel and Dylan Rummel are neck and neck, running for second right now down the back straightaway. Max going a little wide there, got a little error, he's got to be careful there. Dylan Rummel right next to him still, that battle for second. Brent and Tom in the back of the pack. One more pack to go for these guys, they are flying! Brock Nickel in the lead, here comes Dylan Rummel now, gets the upper hand on the back straightaway. Mad Max Rummel on the outside, Dylan Rummel on the inside. Checkered flight comes down, it's going to be Brock Nickel, Dylan Rummel, and Max! Brock Nickel with the win gave him his second consecutive win at the annual Paris Speedway New Year's Classic. A great way to get ready to travel to Glasgow. We want to wish Brock Nickel the best this year as he goes on to compete in the very competitive British leagues. And you could read more about this event on speedwaybikes.com. And that's our live stream rewind from Paris Speedway's annual New Year's Classic at Paris, California. If you can't make it to the track, Bring the track to you on XSRA.TV.